guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I got a comment on my last video asking if we still had the hamster. And we do. He's just out here now. Um, and I have to keep a lock on his cage because if you guys can see, excuse Ryan world in the background, but she likes to open the cage. Um, obviously we don't want him getting out, so I have to lock it and then I keep the key up here so that I can get in there, change his bedding and stuff like that and let her see him. Um, but he, he can't stay unlocked. Like I have to have a lock on his cage or she will open it and he will get loose. Uh, obviously we don't want that happening. Um, but he just, I don't have anywhere to put him. Like, I liked having him out here in the kitchen, but at the same time, he was making my kitchen smell. Um, like, I would no sooner change his bedding, and the next day, Tim said it would smell like pee out here, and, like, I should only, like, I only change his bedding once a week, which is more than what you should, but, like, at the same time, I don't want my kitchen smelling like pee. So, I put him out in the sunroom, she can see him more. <laughs> But at the same time, she also wants to get him out. We have this cage set up right now. Um, it was a last minute thing at like five o'clock this morning because Tim got two feeder mice for his snake. I showed them in a one or two vlogs ago. Um, but we went and we picked up two feeder mice. We fed the one to the snake two nights ago. Um, we just gave him the small one because I went to oh, like lift up the thing on the rock so that I could like see what the guy like the snake was up to and found out that he had molted or uh, shed his skin or whatever it's called for the first time. Um, we didn't even know he was doing it but it's 95% of the way off. It was all curled up in a ball. Um, I lifted the thing off the rock. I was like oh 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 Tim's like what? I'm like, he molted, he shed. Tim's like, I didn't think he was ready for that. I was like, I didn't think he was gonna be ready for that either. Um, but yet, here we are. <laughs> um, so, I had to get that out of the cage. He still has some dry spots, so we weren't sure if he was gonna eat, so we just put the small one in there for now. Uh, we figured they could kind of cohabitate together until the snake was hungry enough to eat. Um, but the snake, as soon as, like, the mouse was over on the warm side, the snake was over on the cool side. Um, the mouse, I picked it up by the tail and, like, put it over towards the rock just to see if the snake was hungry, um, that the snake was in. And he lunged for that sucker almost right away. Like, I put the snake down, or the, the mouse down, and he, like, kind of tried to curl up with the snake. The snake smelled him. It was like, oh. Um, anyways, we had... This other one, we had him in the mason jar, but obviously that wasn't big enough. That was just like a, a temporary fix. Well, we put him into a bigger container. I sliced lid, holes in the lids, small enough that he couldn't get out, but big enough that fresh air could get down through. Um, and he wasn't moving a whole lot yesterday, so I wanted to check in on him. I didn't hear him like jumping around trying to get out. Um, opened it up. <laughs> Tim said it stunk and he had like poop and pee and like just he was dirty um and we didn't like i wanted to buy a critter keeper it's designed for stuff like this Ugh, it's designed for feeder mice and stuff but tim said to not worry about it that he would just get a few in a few weeks um but obviously we wanted to keep this mouse alive until next feeding, which will be in about a week, week and a half. Um, and I'm like, well, you know, what are we gonna do? Um, and luckily I still had this barn hamster cage um, and just got it set up. I didn't put the wheel in there. All that's in there is basic necessities. Uh, we had a bowl that we put some cheese into. Um, we've got water, he's got some tunnels, and he's got some bedding to be able to keep warm. Um, 
but we weren't even sure if this was gonna work. We thought he might have been too small and to be able to fit through. Like, I figured he'd be able to fit through here because he's so small. But you guys can see him. He's curled up right here. Um, keeping warm, which, you know, that worked. Um, but yeah, it was like a six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning deal getting this cage set up quick. Um, I got the cage set up while Tim kind of, um, he washed the mouse. He gave the mouse a bath. Um, <laughs> because, like, obviously, I told Tim, I was like, well, I don't want to do it right now because I don't want him to, like, stink being in this open cage and then stink up the house. Um, and Tim said that he would give him, like, a quick little bath rinse down thing while I got the cage set up. So, we did that in a matter of 10 minutes. All I had to do was throw some bedding in the... Uh, bottom of the cage, twist the thing on that holds the water, and give him some food. Uh, we don't have any mouse food, so I just gave him cheese. I was like, I don't know what to give him. Um, and then I think Ella put a piece of beef jerky in there earlier. Don't know why, but you know, whatever. Um, I don't think he's eaten any of it though, but. Um, we figure we'll just keep that set up for now, um, to use for the feeder mice. So when we go back next week or what, like in two weeks or whatever, when we need to get some more, um, Tim can get like four or five, six, and we can just put in there. Um, and the snake would be set for food for a month, month and a half. Um, so yeah. I got an Amazon package. It's been out there since like 9 o'clock this morning. Never ended up going out and getting it because I just never went out. Um, this is the thing I'm going to be returning though. I'm not even going to plan on keeping it, I don't think. I may keep it, but I'm honestly like 95% sure I'm just going to send it back um, because it's a big, big water bottle. Um, I tried to cancel it like an hour after I ordered it because I had found the small little like um, little plastic 12 ounce ones I was telling you guys about. I found those on here or online on Amazon uh, just a little bit later and I thought that they were a better deal than to buy a big water bottle. So um, this is a 32 ounce water bottle with lid. And I don't want that big of a water bottle, but all the other ones were a powder coating. Um, and I didn't want one with powder coating because with the powder coating water bottles, I have to take the powder coating off before I can epoxy them. And obviously if I have a stainless steel water bottle, I'm gonna want to epoxy it eventually. Um, but it came with like two different lids, I believe. Yeah, it came with two different lids. One with this flip top so you can like drink out of it like that. With a little carry handle like this. Or this one has Oh my gosh, man, come on. This one you hold, you know, like this and this kind of swivels but I can't get this lid I can't get it open but um, it's got the water spout like for straws and stuff like that um, come on okay with a straw and a straw cleaner. And then this is the water bottle. It came with three lids. So this one's got a spout to drink out of. Um, this one is just like this one, the first one I showed you, just with a different handle. Um, and this one's got like one of the fingers, but this is the bottle. I thought it was really pretty. It's a holographic like purple. 
You guys see that color? Like it's it's really pretty, don't get me wrong. But I don't need that big of a water bottle. Like I would never drink that much all at once. Um oh, it came with two straws. Um, but yeah, I just I won't ever use this. Like this is so big and bulky. It'd be nice if I was going out shopping or something. Um, but one thing I don't like is it's fat and like short. So it won't fit in a cup holder. I'd have to put it in my passenger seat. But if I have a passenger with me, they're not gonna wanna have my water bottle over there. Um, so I would have to put it in the back. No thanks. Um, it's not easy to carry around with this, which I would use this lid before I used any other lids. I don't like the little handle on that. It's just overall not a good lid for me or a good bottle for me. So I am going to return this. Um, like I said, I tried to cancel the order before it even shipped. It was like not even, I don't even think it was an hour after I ordered it that I tried to cancel it. They said that they would try to cancel it, that Amazon was busy packaging up my order, and I'm like, it didn't even ship for two days after I tried to cancel it. Um, but, like, I just, it's too big, you know? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and send this one back get the, I think it was like 30 bucks for this bottle back and that'll be better. Um, <coughs> this one said it was a powder, coat, powder coated, but it didn't have the texture of a powder coating, but um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and send this sucker back. I'm not even gonna break the bubbles down. I'm not even gonna throw this box on the floor. I'm just gonna keep it how it is. I will retape it up and get it shipped back probably tomorrow. Um, I could have taken the watch. Sorry, I just saw something that Tim could have taken over to his stepdad, but he didn't. Um, uh, let's see, uh, got the address label off, there should be two, right? Um, okay, got those off of there so that if you guys see my package box lid, it's not the end of the world. Um, I need to do the laundry now. Um, I finally got to wash Ella's diaper bag and I'm so glad that I did. That thing was not pretty. Um, but I'm gonna get Ella's laundry switched over, get our laundry in, and then get all of this stuff put away. So I have room to fold her laundry before I get it put away and possibly have room to fold our laundry before the end of the night. It is 6 23 right now so I need to get that done real quick um, dishes I have some of um, just quick little bits here and there um, and then I need to tear her room apart I she I swear she has like three or about six of the water bottle or sippy cups that she gets her juice in because I do not give her sippy cups um, for her milk and her uh, juice, she gets a separate water or sippy cup. So she gets two sippy cups a day, one for her juice, and then she has specific ones for her milk. She has like six of these somewhere, and I can only find, I think, three of them. Don't know where the other three went. They're not in her uh, bin down here. I don't know where they are, so I need to tear apart her room. See if they're under her dresser, see if she put them in her dresser, see if they're under her bed, or if she put them in her closet, or what she did with them. I do not know, but I gotta get that done. 
Um, I have six Etsy orders I need to get packaged up and taken over town tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, I think that's it. So, I gotta get some stuff done and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit.